guys, welcome back. So, today's video, I'm gonna just jump right into it, and um, it's probably gonna be a little bit long, um, just because I have a lot of stuff here. Um, actually, I'm probably gonna split it up into two different videos, um, because if not, it would be like a movie, and everybody don't want to sit there and watch this, but anyway, I am currently 34 weeks, and the next video that I post will probably be my what's in my hospital bag what I'm taking for him but right now what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you some of the products that I bought that I actually like and love I do work at a daycare I've been working in a daycare for about nine years um, I've been working with infants for about seven and a half of those years so I kind of know a lot about baby products I know a lot about things I've picked up along the way that I like better than others um, just off a of preference of other people's kids babies that I've been working with and um, yeah so my hair right now is really getting on my nerves I don't know what I want to do with it but anyway so I did order a couple things from different brands um, I'm waiting actually for two orders to come in this weekend um, I ordered some stuff from Carpal Pearl I ordered a about, I think I ordered about 20 bibs from Copper Pearl. Um, I like those just because they're snap. I don't like Velcro. Um, Velcro wears out easily. Um, and then after, you really can't use it anymore unless you replace the Velcro. I and mean, who the hell wants to replace the Velcro? I mean, really. Um, so I love snap bibs. Honestly, I went to Hobby Lobby, Joann's, and Michael's, and all those places the craft places and I got some fabric and I actually made my own bibs so I made some like this that are smaller I know copper pearls are bigger um, but I actually made these and it has terry cloth on the back so I'll see how when he gets here how these work now these are smaller but these are more like for when he's newborn and little um, so I have about 10 of these that I made I made different colors um, and then I also ordered my copper pearls, so I have those. And then I also have some that I got from Marshalls, Ross, Target, and other places. I also made burp cloths. I made a ton of burp cloths. Um, I sewed these together. And, um, yeah, so they're terry cloth on the back. Flannel. I have some that are cotton. I have some that are minky. These are my cotton ones. Um, with cotton with flannel on the back. I have cotton with terry cloth. So I have different different kinds that I want to test out and see which ones I like best. Um, but yeah, I have all those in a little basket and they're ready to go. But I also ordered, you know, from other places. I plan on ordering a couple of burp cloths from Copper Pearl also just because, you know, just to have some extras along with the ones that I have. But this is my Copper Pearl blanket. I ordered the blanket in Sunny, and I got the hat also to go with it. And I plan on taking his little pictures in the hospital with his little blanket and his... Okay, but anyway, um, like I was saying, I got the Copper Pearl blanket in the Sunny, and that's what I plan on having him in in his pictures. I got a couple other blankets that I plan on using also, um, but yeah. Anyway, you'll see the, the pictures if you add me on Instagram. Um, I'll have everything linked down below. Um, my personal stuff. Um, but yeah. So, I ordered this thing because I saw this thing online. I have not ordered my car seat canopy. Um, because you can get the free one and then you just pay the shipping. I think shipping's like $9 or something. Um, I haven't ordered that yet. I might order one. I'm kind of in between. Um, but anyway. I did see the Ever Babies swaddles. Um, so if you, you're wondering about those, I think you pay about nine dollars in shipping also, or something like that, nine or ten dollars. Um, so you get it for free, you just pay the shipping. Now the swaddles, I have never seen a review like on YouTube because I wanted to see what the swaddles looked like before I ordered it. But no one had a swaddle. Um and the pictures that I saw, the babies were just like the ones the babies were like the ones that are already in it so you couldn't see but anyway so I wanted to show you this is what the ever baby swaddle looks like um I got the dinosaur print I think there's like 
maybe 15 or more different prints you can choose from. I know at least 15. Um, but anyway, this is how it looks. And you, I guess you just slide them into it. I think it's more like a sack than anything. And the bottom's kind of rounded. Um, so yeah, this is, that's what that looks like. That's the Every Baby Swaddle Blanket. And it comes with either you can wear the headband or you can get the ones with the hat. And then this is just a basic hat. If you fold it under, it doesn't really do anything. So it's just like, just a regular little hat. Um, so I'm excited to see how that is going to work out. Um, let's see, what else did I get? I did order his outfit. Um, I'll show it to you once he gets here. It has his name and everything on it. But I ordered this outfit, and here's his little initials. Um, I did order it. Um, what, the lollipop kid? Lollipop shop or something on Etsy. Anyway, I'll have it linked once I put it on there. But this is what he's coming home in. So I have his little outfit here with his little hat. Here's his little hat. His little hat has his name on it too on the other side but anyway this is his coming home outfit um and i also ordered a blanket on my etsy also um that has his name his full name initials and everything on it um that should be in i think next week or this weekend um that has not come here yet um i also wanted to show y'all his diaper bag i got off of amazon um i love the diaper bag I've actually, I'm um, actually already using it as my pocketbook. It has so many compartments. Um, it has like a little front zipper for me, like for my personal stuff, like my wallet. Uh, right now I'll put my coupons in here and my lip gloss. Um, and then you open it up. I don't know if this angle is good or not. Um, you open it up and it has another zipper compartment on this side. Um, this is a little mesh. I got some more lip gloss. This, in, this thing. But anyway, so you unzip it. It has a mesh compartment there. Um, <clears throat> it has pockets for bottles. Right now I have my passies in there, and then it has like little pockets for spoons. Um, I also have my hand sanitizer in there um, for now, since obviously we're not eating or using bottles. Um, and then this little pouch. This is like a longer. Um, it goes all the way down to the bottom pouch. And you could put like burp cloths and bibs and um, little things like that in there. And then this actually comes all the way down. And this is just like a mesh compartment. And then the little places, I guess you could use it for diapers. Um, I think this side you could probably use for like clothes or whatever. And then you can just zip it and zip it. Um, then it comes with the middle compartment, and in the middle compartment, it has a zipper in the front that goes halfway down, and then the back has the changing pad. And then it has two side bottles, places a space for more diapers, and then the middle area. And then the side, what I loved about it was the side, it has the side for your bottle, and then it also has a side on this side for your wipes. And it has it where it's open, so you don't have to, like, take your wipes in and out. You can just pop this little the thing open if you get the reusable ones. And, um, just take your wipes out from there. So, it makes it so much easier on the go. And that's what I really wanted. And then it also has this little back pouch. Um, I don't really know what this is for. I think what I'm going to use it for is, like, his car seat canopy. The one that you can take off. Or put on or like my um my whatever I use the breastfeed cover I think I'm gonna put that in there just so it's easy in and out access but anyway this is my diaper bag and this is the company that it came from um what company is this I don't know they sent me a little free gift and it was like a little washcloth cut thing I already put it away but this is the hmm in 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 you i think that's the brand of my diaper bag right there and i think this diaper bag was only like 30 something bucks on amazon 
so it was really good quality the zippers are fantastic on it um i wanted one that wasn't slouchy oh also it has this little thing right here that clasps together the handles so you can just have them one handle and then it also has straps for the stroller so it comes with where you can just clip it onto the stroller so you don't have to buy separate like diaper bag straps for your stroller it comes with it, it has nice padding for the arms and um i honestly i just love it like it's not flimsy it doesn't like fall over when you sit it down it sits straight up that's what I was going for because I had seen some other brands. I'm not sure what brand it is, but there was one I was looking at online. Um, but I've actually seen that diaper bag at work before. One of the little girls, she had it when she was little. And it was just very flimsy. It bent over. The inside material was very thin and I felt like it would rip easily. And it, I loved the look of it. And it looks similar to that. Um, and it didn't have as many compartments either. And it didn't have the side um, wipe thing either. But it just, I thought I liked it. And I'm glad I, I'm glad I actually got to see it in person before I bought it. Because that's probably the one I would have bought. Um, but I didn't like it once I saw it. And I was like, yeah, I definitely don't want this one. So I did pick that one off of Amazon. The zippers are really good. They don't get hung. Um, the fabric material on the inside is very sturdy. It's not, I don't think it's going to rip anytime soon. Like, I'd probably use it for like three or four years before I'd get any damage out of it at all. Um, uh, but yeah, I really like it so far. And, uh, let's see. Oh, another thing that I got that I ordered was, where's it at? Hmm. Oh, here it is. Okay. So, I already took it out the box, but anyway. I did use, um, a lot of this stuff that I'm showing you is, like, from smaller, like, companies, smaller brands. Some is bigger, but some, some of it's smaller, like the Copper Pearl. It's, like, obviously it's a well-known brand now, but it's, like, little homey brands, you know. Um, and then also the stuff from Etsy is from people that have their own business. So, it's, like, smaller businesses, not as big. But anyway, I did order one thing from Lulu and company. And this is the packaging that it comes in when you get it. And I ordered the little gown. And I don't really remember what color this is. I turned it inside out. Um, actually, I need to wash it. Um, and I'll wash it with my next little group of things that I get together. But anyway, I love their gowns. They're so soft. Um, I might actually wind up ordering more of these. Um, because I'm trying, I really want to just put them in gowns when he's newborn. Just, especially at night because it's so much easier. I'll just leave that out. But anyway, this is what his little gown looks like. And it has the little three buttons and they actually do unbutton and button. And then it also has the little, um, sleeves that fold over for like little mittens so he don't scratch his face and it's very long it's a knotted gown so i got this from lulu and company absolutely love it so soft um cannot wait also going to take pictures in this too because i have a robe that i kind of want to um put with it that matches me and him um but yeah so i'll uh, see don't see what color I did get that it's a newborn. Um, I don't remember what color that was, but I will find it and link it for you um, down below. But anyway, yeah. So I'm really happy with my purchase from Lulu and Company. Um, let's see. Actually, I don't have the color in here. Jordan. Jordan is the name of the knotted gown that I ordered. So I got the knotted gown in Jordan. And let's see, in here I have this drawer that I'm going to use for like little stuff, but I have his little bibs that I got. These are some of the bibs that I've got from like Ross and Marshalls and Target. They're all like bandana bibs. I have a few of the Carter's bibs that are actual like the bigger, longer bibs for when he gets older. I will be purchasing more of those later on. I also have a ton of hats. Um, that match my little mittens that I have. 
Um, so he has tons of hats. I have my washcloths in here. I love the washcloths from Target. They're very thick. I also have some of the little thin ones though, just for um, quick little wipes and stuff. Um, I also have burp cloths in there. But yeah, I really love the Target ones. The Target carry cloth, they are so nice, um, soft, and they're big, and I feel like they would really get the job done. So I have a bunch of those. Um, and my next thing, oh yeah, let's show you what else I got. Um, let's see. I do have the Halo bassinet, the one that goes beside the bed that you can push under the bed. Like, the little poles go under the bed. Um... I have that, so I also ordered for that, I ordered the, um, I actually took it out of the packaging, I ordered the waterproof mattress pad protector, I got this on Bye Bye Baby, if you use Bye Bye Baby, I, I totally recommend Bye Bye Baby, because stuff like this is cheaper on Bye Bye Baby than it is on Amazon, than it is anywhere, and if you have your, um, if you sign up for the registry, I know you'll get $5 off a purchase if you go get your Bye Bye Baby bag. So you get $5 off a $15 purchase. And this thing is like $17, I think. $16 or $17 for this. So when you take it to the registry, you'll wind up paying like $11 bucks for it or $10 bucks for um, your mattress cover. The waterproof mattress cover. So I highly recommend doing that. Um, also, the Halo Bassinet Sheets. There are only $14.99. I think they're more on Amazon and at Target they're more. And also, if you use your $5 off coupon off of $15, you get these for like $10. Bucks. So $10 bucks for a sheet, you can't beat that. Um, also, I know you can use Bed Bath & Beyond coupons. So if you have any, and they also take expired coupons. So if you have 20% off, you can use that on these also. Um, a lot of times 20% off, you have to have... Sometimes it's on your entire purchase. Sometimes it's on $35 or more. Um, I know sometimes they run like the, um, what was it, Veterans Day, I believe it was, sale where you got 25% off. Um, and I actually have a friend that's in the military, so I was able to use that coupon. Black Friday, they also had 25% off. And you can go to your local Bed Bath Me On if you don't have a Bye Bye Baby. Because I don't have one that's really close by. I think my closest one's about an hour away. But anyway, you can go into Bed Bath & Beyond, order your stuff online in the store, and use the coupon. The coupon might say in store, but you can use it um, if you go into the store. Now, if you try to purchase it online at home, you can't do it. But um, most of the time, too, they're shipping from the store if you don't order up to $40 or however much the free shipping is you only pay $2.99 if you go in the store to get it shipped but if you stay at home you got to pay more I think it's like $4.99 at home so it's really good to use those coupons save your bed bath and beyond coupons use them at bye bye baby if you have to really good deals um you can get 20% off of whatever I ordered this stuff on black friday actually well I got this separate because I had to go pick up my bye bye baby registry little gift bag um so I went ahead and got my bassinet cover while I was in there and then actually Black Friday I ordered this and I also ordered my bottles because I got 25% off which was also a good purchase um I got the Phillips Avent bottles this is the ones that I plan on using these are the glass ones um I really like these I think they're like 27 for a three pack and they run about the same price at Target um bye bye baby and amazon so they're all about the same price everywhere but i got 25 percent off of them because i use my code but you can get 20 percent off anytime most of the time at bed bath and beyond so it's a better deal to get them through bye bye baby um but yeah i plan on getting more of these bottles but right now i just got three because i do plan on breastfeeding also um let's see Oh yeah, another thing that I got is I do have one of the four mom swings. Once I get his nursery set up, I'll show you everything that I have. But anyway, I have the four mom's um, little swing. Um, so I bought the infant newborn insert thing. Um, 
to go in the swing so it doesn't like suck him in, you know, so he can be elevated a little bit and, you know, not sitting so into the seat. But yeah, I got this. This was also 25% off of whatever the price was. I can't remember. And it was actually cheaper to get it there also. I checked Amazon. I checked the Four Moms website. And then I checked a couple other places. Um, I don't think Target. I know they sell the swing. But I don't think they sell the insert yet. Because I was thinking about using my 15% off registry coupon for that. But instead I just used a 25% off of Bed Bath & Beyond. Because that was a better deal. Um, let's see. Um, the wipes I plan on using right now. I have a couple of wipes from my, um, little registry bags that I have. But these are the two wipes that I plan on using. Um, these are the ones that I have stocks of in my closet. I have Pampers Sensitive. I plan on using those. And then water wipes. I love the water wipes. Um, ones in the registry um that you get from the bags in target and walmart and amazon i actually have a dollar off coupon on the back so if you save those um also target was price matching at one time stuff like this so um actually i think target target app um if you search water wipes are actually cheaper online than they are in the store but they will price match from the store so you can get the water wipes for like 1.99 i think or, no, you can get them for like $2.18 because I think they're $3.18 online where they're $3.99 in the store. And then you get a dollar off. So you get them for $2.19 2 for a pack of wipes, which is not bad at all because you'll wind up paying for the bigger pamper sensitive, I think $1.99 anyway. So 20 more cents for water wipes is not a bad deal. Um, but yeah, I plan on using these two wipes, probably water wipes in the beginning and then switching to the sensitive ones later or going back and forth um I had a hard time picking out what kind of lotions and body washes that I wanted but I did go with some random some different kinds um I got Johnson & Johnson I did get some of the basic ones like I got the nighttime one I got the original one and then I got the new cotton blossom scent um in the body wash and lotion and then I really like the vino baby um and I like both of them I like the blue the original and the lavender the lavender smells really good um I got the body wash and the lotion so I got a couple of these also used my registry coupons from Target when I got these um because I think you got a dollar off so it was a really good deal so I plan on using a vino um and Johnson Johnson I also got some baby dove too I'm gonna try that out and see how he does with that um, I also plan on using Aquaphor. I never really used the Aquaphor diaper rash cream, but I know in the beginning I'm definitely going to just use the healing ointment, um, on him, just like, you know, every diaper change or whatever. So I plan on using Aquaphor, and if he happens to get a rash, I'm going to be using the Aquaphor healing baby cream diaper rash cream. Um... I don't really like Desitin. I don't like A&D ointment. Um, that's just my personal preference. Um, I have seen the Honest diaper cream at work. And one of the babies used the whole tube of it. And he still, like, his diaper rash didn't get worse. But it didn't go away and get better either. So, it was just like, at first I kind of liked the feel of it. And the smell of it. But when I saw it wasn't working or doing anything after a week and a half, I was like, this is kind of pointless. Um, so, I do have those products. Um, I plan on using Pampers um, Swaddler Diapers, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for, for everything that I'm going to show you in this video. Um, I don't really think I have anything else to show you. I do have my little cart over here and it has all my little necessities in it um i have some passies that i plan on using i plan on using the the ones like in the hospital that they give you um the event ones i plan on using those so i have a couple different ones of those he does have a wubba nub um i do have some of the ma'am passies and then i have the registry bag ones that you know came with the registry stuff 
But yeah, I think that's it for this video. Um, because if I keep on talking, it's gonna be extremely long. Um, I did get the Boppy Lounger. Um, so I got the little elephant one. I really like it. I plan on making some covers for it. Um, to go on it because you can. I didn't know that you. It doesn't unzip like the original Boppy. You can take the cover off and replace it and get different ones. This one does not come off. I did not know that. Um, so I plan on going to Hobby Lobby or Joann's or somewhere and getting some fabric and just sewing a little cover. So if anything happens, blowouts, spit ups, or whatever, you know, it doesn't mess up the cover. I mean, you can throw the whole thing in the washer, but I just feel like. That's a lot of work, you know. So, I plan on buying or making a couple covers for them. I know you can order some on Etsy um, and you can have them. But when I make the covers, I'll show them to you in the video when I set up his, finish setting up his nursery. And I'll show you what covers I made and what they look like and everything like that. Um, I'll also show you the mattress pad that I made. Um, I'll probably make some crib sheets for them later. Um, but, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if there's anything that you think that any products that you liked um any thing that you think that i need to try anything that you might not like or recommend um just just let me know down below hopefully you enjoy my videos of my little random stuff showing you how i'm getting prepared for baby boy and everything um like i said in the beginning my milk snob and my copper pearl packages should be in by next week hopefully this weekend but they'll definitely be in next week so i will do a review video on those two things once i get them in um and then later once he gets here i'll show you all the stuff i got from etsy and link all i'll do a video of just etsy the three things that i got from etsy and um tell you about how i like the products and how they did a really good job with customizing different things because I got uh his his name for the letter board I have my letter board I got from Hobby Lobby I'll show you the back of it um but I got this this one it's bigger it's not 10 by 10 I'm not sure how big it is but it's definitely 10 inches tall but it might be like 15 inches wide or something but anyway I got this one because his name is actually hyphenated his middle name so he has like three names <laughs> Um, so I wanted something big enough and then I wanted enough room. So I figured that one would be better and I actually love the color of the outside of it. So I really like that one. I can't wait to show y'all once he gets here. Um, but I did order, um, his little name to go in that personalized and I got to pick out the color, the writing and everything like that. So I can't wait to show you that. Can't wait to show you his coming home outfit once he gets here. And then his little personalized blanket that I also ordered him. But yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, but yeah, leave a comment down below, like the video, and I will definitely see you guys in a little while. Um, I'll have another update for you pretty soon. And yeah, so bye guys.